And that that kind of leads me into another area I wanted to ask you about because like you're very active on TikTok and and Instagram. You have like over 230,000 followers on there. With you know our whole podcast talking about the process of making it, you know, I think that's a whole another area now that actors and creators now have to consider you almost can't survive without having a strong social know, media right? presence. Yeah. It's part of your business. It's like you know some people really hate it but when you think about the fact that so many people are looking at that to cast mm-hmm. you, directors, cr- creators, producers, um, production companies, they're all looking at that uh, because nowadays, again, the way that media is consumed is through people. Uh, if people have a fandom, if people have people following them, they'll bring those people into the product they're trying to sell, into the movie that they're trying to promote, into all mm-hmm. of these things. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's like, this weird part of it where it's like so does your talent and your art matter anymore is it just followers Mm -hmm. i mean there's also that discussion because there's been a lot of tiktokers and and people that like have gotten like deals with movies and i'm like addison ray sorry (laughs) i was like how i'm like oh yeah no big deal it's not like i went to theater school for five years and um Mm -hmm. trained my ass off uh just so that like you know it's fine and i mean hey like (laughs) they're content creators and it's a lot of work as well just so different to try and shift gears into like knowing that um i have to prioritize social media as well because it is part of my business um Mm -hmm. so i'm great very grateful to my team that they recognize that um being able to like get verified that was all through my la team and being able to like push for that because it's not easy the whole process and you know, my following has been very natural because of the projects that I've been in. So that's mm-hmm. really cool that it it just kind of naturally happens. Um, and it's so new for me. I remember being like super freaking anxious before Ginny and Georgia came out. I was just like, oh. how am I going to deal with this many people and this energy? But now I learned that I'm like, listen, I'm a human. I talk about that often. I'm a person too. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to have boundaries. Um, I love interacting with fans, but I also have to like make sure that I'm in a good mental space to be able to yes. like give back as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it was a lot easier when I had like 20,000 followers and I used to just like interact with all of them. I was so close with so many of my fandoms from Utopia Falls. Yeah. Now it's so different. I mean, it's yeah. a lot more people. It's, um, but honestly, my fandom is so sweet and like my following is like mostly women, queer, young, um, mm-hmm. so supportive mm-hmm. uh, and they understand I feel like they know me in a way like as much as I let them in but it's really nice to feel supported with the people who are like watching my journey and it means a lot because you know I'm exploring it and uh experiencing it as I go just like they are like seeing it and they're always so sweet so I'm I feel like I lucked out that it wasn't just like creepy people and you know what I mean like it could have been like the other opposite way where I'm like no I feel like my platform can be really inspiring and I just want to share like positivity and light and know that you know let people know that like they can also follow their dreams Mm -hmm. um and in supporting each other is how you build a community too like it's so important yeah absolutely and that that's great to hear because like you know like you said it could be worse and uh, it could be turned Mm -hmm. into a really dark direction especially with social media and how the internet works it's Um, so wild like one second you're loved the next second something happens and you're canceled and like that's it it's uh it's scary. It's truly scary to have that many eyes on you because um, it's almost like there's no room for error or mm-hmm. like humanness sometimes because listen, I'm not perfect, um, but I try to be as inclusive and as respectful um, as possible. So I'm mm-hmm. very cautious with what I do say and put out there and who I support and like the things that I post about. It's just always hard because you, you can't make everybody happy. Yeah. Yeah. There's always going to be someone who doesn't agree and like accepting that is hard sometimes Mm -hmm. um but you know it's either you share your point of view or you're just like neutral which isn't also good so you know you have to find Mm -hmm. the balance on like what to fight for and pick your battles and um i'm figuring it out you know right now it doesn't seem as overwhelming like i think when you reach like millions and millions that's like next level i think you have someone like someone else dealing with it because i don't think that i could um handle that (laughs) Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Because that yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Just like not mm-hmm. only is, you know, 
people talk about work burnout, especially with with COVID, everybody's working from home. You don't know when to shut off. Like social media, yeah. that's also 24 seven. And yeah. especially with such a personal connection with your fans as well. It's yeah. like, how do you know how to shut that off? How do you know that? And decompress? it's hard because I don't want to feel like I'm being rude or like they don't matter. Yeah. Um, and I used to feel that at one point that I was like, no, I have to like take a chunk out of my time to like reply to DMs or something. Mm -hmm. Um, But now I'm like, no, I realize that that gives me anxiety. And also I don't, I can make more of like a general post and be like, Hey, I see your messages and I appreciate them. Um, But I've had instances where once you accept one DM, they can always message you. And then I got like people calling me like 60 times a day. You know what I mean? So we're like messages, like left, right and center being like, I love you. I love you. I love you. Notice me reply. Like, it's just, it becomes too intense. So I was like, I can't Mm -hmm. do that anymore um has to be a boundary yeah (laughs) for sure for sure and like I'm wondering you know because everybody's more connected on the internet how's your experience has been like in person meeting with fans or or out in the real the real world so cool though like it just started to happen recently because I haven't been out and then with the masks Mm -hmm. like people don't know but like Mm -hmm. literally like when I go out people will be like hey you're I literally had this happen to me a week ago I was at an event and like the second I took off my sunglasses this girl was like oh you looked just like that girl from that show and I was like Dunia and Georgia and she was like yeah you look just like her I was like I am her she was like no yeah like you looked so much like her and I was like no 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 I am her and like her face just went like she couldn't (laughs) comprehend and all of her friends came and I was like oh my god what's going on it was so sweet though it was like very positive experience it was just Mm. like I've never experienced that before to be like recognized in the wild um and and I've had really sweet instances where it's like parents of kids being like my daughter loves you or like just things like Mm. that and like taking pictures of people or like honestly people recognize me as the Philly angel a lot like (laughs) it's really weird to me but when I go to stores and people are like Philly Angel. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm not sure if they've put out billboards for that yet, but are you going to be the one to like point at yourself at the billboard for Philly That's Angel? That's so funny. Um, I would definitely do that. When I did nice. the TikTok hat, I did the like me being like, "That's me, guys." Nice. Um, it's just cool. I mean, like, what a interesting job. And like, I I think you have to celebrate those wins. Yeah. It isn't about being cocky or anything. It's just like, yeah. I'm so proud of how far I've come and how much I've worked. And like, it is exciting. It's exciting yeah. when um, you are recognized and you get to see your work and you're proud of it. And you have to celebrate that because those are the wins and the little wins. Like they, you know, one day they're going to be like nothing compared to what I'm going to like make. But like, I want to remember the these beginnings, these things mm-hmm. that mean so much to me that were like, I'm following my dream and it's happening. Like I'm literally living my dream, Mm -hmm. my dream job and it's happening. Like how many people get to say that? And I feel so lucky that I get to say that.